Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bassam Haddad, and I am hosting this fourth emergency teaching on the topic, why is saying free Palestine so hurtful? I would like to introduce my interlocutors. Basically, we essentially uh, invited uh, experts from the field to help us understand why this phrase is so hurtful. I'd like to share that uh, Sinan Antoun and Adel Iskandar are both professors, and uh, Sinan is a poet, novelist, scholar, and translator. He teaches Arabic literature at New York University. Adel Iskandar is an associate professor of global communication at Simon Fraser University, where he is director of the Center for Comparative Muslim Studies and the chair of graduate studies um, in the School of Communication. I myself, I'm the founding director of the Middle East and Islamic Studies program at George Mason University and associate professor at the Char School, also at George Mason University. Today, we are addressing the very important topic of why saying free Palestine is so hurtful. It's not just hurtful. Free Palestine has proven to be both insensitive and deeply offensive and in nearly all instances, profoundly traumatizing. And one more thing could also be akin to a declaration of war and, or in some serious and totally real ways, tantamount to an actual physical assault on the listener when uttered. And, and there's one more thing, that's just the tip of the iceberg. So we are, Proud to have with us our culture specialist, Sinan Antoun, and our media landscape specialist, Adil Skandar. We'll start with Sinan. Sinan, can you please share with us, based on your extensive experience with uh, Arab culture, why is it so hurtful to say free Palestine? Thank you, Bassam. I think it is very disquieting because it explicitly, and dare I say bluntly, calls for equality of Palestinians and non-Palestinians, which needless to say is deeply problematic. Adil, as a media landscape specialist, who's been doing research for years and years, why is it so hurtful to say, in quotes, free Palestine. Thank you so much, Bassem and Sinan. <clears throat> um, I want to say that this is really an, uh, a genuine emergency teaching. Um, as media scholars, we use sophisticated archival techniques to uncover subliminal meanings in media texts. I've done a deep dive and exhumed, exhumed a very little known passage that explains the hurt and fear associated with this concept. This passage revealed here for the first time explains what a free Palestine might look like. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize your neighborhood. The foulest stench is in the air, the funk of 40,000 years and grisly ghouls from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver. For no mere mortal can resist the evil of free Palestine. So to conclude, Palestine is hurtful because it is nothing short of a global zombie apocalypse. Stay safe, everyone out there. Thank you. Shukran, Adil. Thank you very much, Adil and Sinan. Uh, let me just have my say as a social science expert. Uh, in my view, as a social science expert, the words free Palestine, free Palestine in this sequence, in this particular sequence actually, refer to actively killing everyone on earth, including Palestinians. And I advocate changing the word free in free Palestine to something less offensive, but still something that rhymes like, like tree, tree or, or spree, or even pre-Palestine. 
And that's my take on it. And before I close, because our viewers are probably tired of all of this analysis, let me just ask if there are any additions that Adil or Sinan would like to make. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I must add something, you know, to, to be fair and for the sake of balance, I think we should look at the genealogy of this uh, term. So it started out, as far as I know, in the 80s on college campuses in this country. It was free Palestine. Okay, one free. And then in the 90s, we have free, free Palestine. And now we have free, 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 free Palestine. So the question that we have to pose is how far is it going to go and where will it stop? Thank you very much. Uh... Adil, our media landscape specialist, and Sinan, our culture specialist for joining us in this very important teach-in, emergency teach-in number four. We will now break and we will see you next week with another emergency teach-in because we understand the emergency ahead of time under the title, Ethnic Cleansing, Pros and Cons. We are undeniable. We are undeniable. We are undeniable. Stand with us in this promise. We, we are undeniable. Stand with us in this promise. We promise. Palestine still promises that we will all be free.